Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm out for a walk in Backwood, which is up in the Staffordshire Moorlands. We're about five or six miles away from Leek and probably a couple of miles that way. I know you can't see it, but as the crow flies is the village of Flash, the highest village in Great Britain. We should go there one day, make a video. But I've come to show you something up here, something mysterious, which um, has a, a few sort of legends attached to it and it starts just here this seems like a fairly normal sort of moorland path but just have a look at this what happens there's a crack in the ground and it's the kind of crack i want to go and explore and go down inside and see what we find have a look at that should we go down and investigate this is going to be interesting i've, I've been down here once before I think last year but i've never done it holding a camera so you might have to bear with me a couple of times but as we now go through this bit here I'm going to turn the camera you can see exactly what we're going into we're going right down into the ground we're not actually going underground but we're going into a, a deep crack so the place we're going down to this is known as the Ludge Church and as we get down there excuse me a moment while I climb down a rather awkward bit of a stone step it will widen itself out, get more and more exciting. So as we descend further into the large church, I'll tell you a bit about, there's a 14th century poem called Sir Gorwin and the Green Knight. It's said that a green knight gate trashed a feast at Camelot and he came to the knights at the round table. table sorry. And um, Sir Gorwin, he rose to the challenge and he beheaded the green knight and um, he said to them, the, the Green Knight was beheaded, but he simply picked his head back up, put it back onto his body, and challenged him to meet at the Green Chapel in a year's time, also known as the Ludge Church. As we get further down, look at that, there's like a little sort of tunnel going off up there. Um, and then there's, there's another path. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take you up that path. If you look down there, that's a bit more of what's to come. We're gonna end up down there. But let's make it more fun, let's go this way so if we go up yet yeah, another very narrow chasm there's a couple of ways in and um there's one sort of main way in and out onto one of the main paths it's quite hard coming up here with a rucksack and filming so as we come up here we come into another chasm that's one of the more sensible ways out up those steps up there if you go um i'm not going to take you down there because it'd be pretty much impossible but you can, if you go down there, that is um, another way out. I'll tell you, I'll show you by going up the steps, but it kind of involves a bit of climbing. So you've got to kind of climb up over there and it goes back down again. So that way really is quite difficult. But just look at this place. It's, um, it's, if you think this looks amazing, wait and see what we've got to come once we get right down into the Ludge Church properly. So we go down here and in a minute the whole thing reveals itself so we just came up that little path we came that way but we're going to now descend this way further into the Ludge Church so the reason it's got the name Ludge Church as I said it's also known as the, the Green Chapel it said in the 15th century it was a place where um, there was a Christian reformer John I forget his surname um, he followers of him used to come here and meet and it said it's possibly named after Walter de Luddite if I'm not not to be confused with the word Luddite I know it's Ludd um, so there's various theories as to how it got its name Ludd's church but here we are it opens up into this huge chasm if you look above me you can sort of see the trees towering above us really quite a surreal amazing place they say that the Ludge church was formed by a huge landslide going back years and years ago like i'm talking millions of years ago um i don't quite understand about the geology to know how a landslide could cause a chasm quite in this kind of way but if anyone who does know more about geology wants to comment and tell me then um you are welcome to do so so as we come down further into the chasm, you can see now 
just how big and how much it widens itself out. It's also very cold here, even in summer, it never really warms up. And if you have a look, I've worn my wellies. I did a walk, I walked here from the roaches and it's not really a wellies walk. It's more of a hard sort of um, walking shoes kind of walk, but knowing it'd be muddy here, I decided to wear my wellies. Looking back behind where we've come, you can just see that family climbing their way out up the steps. Um, so most people tend to enter the large church from the other end. I like to enter it this way, um, from the top end, and make my way down through it. So when these, you know, when these people did worship here, I can sort of imagine maybe they sat here, maybe on the steps, and there was a priest or a vicar. I, I don't know. It must have um, been fascinating to go back in time and found out. Let's have a look above me like that. As we come down here, it, the floor flattens out, but then we go round another turn. So as we come down, I just love looking up above and seeing the trees. I know I've already shown that to you, but I just, I find that view really fascinating. I'm going to let you see it again. And there's no wind here. I can hear the wind. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but I can hear the wind sort of howling above us. But here, we're very, very sheltered. Now this section here, this is where we go around the corner. It becomes muddier. There's even a boardwalk. That's interesting. There's like another, well, not really a way going off, but a little sort of, not cave, but another crack in the rocks. So you can see there's a boardwalk now because it has become very muddy. So I really am glad our wall well is. As we come through here, we'll soon come to the other end of the large church. So we climb up, up these steps here, leaving behind a view of the large church. We're going to climb out here and I'm going to get back onto the main path. And now I've got to walk back to the roaches. So my car is about three miles away from here. So I've got quite a long walk ahead of me. I walked one way, I'm going to walk back another way. So um, just before we come out of here, to show you that's another way i think that goes out onto the main path it's going to involve a bit of climbing i won't be able to do it holding a camera so i'm not going to do that one i'm going to go out the normal way give you one last look into the chasm of ludge church come through here and we're coming out onto the main path which um runs back towards the roaches we're going down here the wind's going to pick up. It was so windy on the roaches. I had planned to do a video, but even with a microphone, you would not have heard a word I said. So we'll go back and do that in the summer. So we're coming out here and here we are. We're on to the main path. And um, that's how most people first see the large church. Just this sort of little path going off into a hole in the rocks. I'm going to carry on walking that way. It's just, you can't really see the view too well because of the trees, but let's just, um, go a little way and I'm going to carry on back to my car so I hope you enjoyed this video from the Ludge Church uh, if you do want to see it do be prepared to walk it's not somewhere you can just park your car have a look and go home again it really is somewhere you know um, that requires I would say at very least a two mile no more than that two and a half three mile round trip you can park I don't know if you can see it down there, there's a camping barn and there's a car park near there. You can park there, but as I said, be prepared for at least a three mile round trip of a walk to see the Lud's Church. Um, but it really is worth it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching up here on the Staffordshire Moorlands. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, tell anyone who might be interested. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.